too. There's no one here. You're there. I can see you. <laughs> Who are you? Candela. I'm Marcelino. I know. You from around here? Well, I'm from everywhere. Here and there, you know, ordinary stuff. I'm going to be something special for you, Marcelino. Panivino. Last name is Panivino. Bread and wine. I bet you can't guess where I got it from. So why don't you tell me? I got it from the monastery. Where the friars, who love me very much, live. And from the man who lives in the attic. some bread A and some wine too in case you're thirsty thank you Marcelino bread and wine from now on you will be known as Marcelino pan y vino <laughs> Marcelino pan y vino good afternoon Tata how do you know who Tata is? I know lots of things about you. <laughs> right, Tata? <laughs> like where you come from? Where you're going? Oh, tell me more, please. I'm going to. You came to the forest during a late snowfall in the month of April. Garbage in town, naturally. your luck, eh? Help! Help! 
A miracle, not even a crack. Don't be frightened. I just want to get my egg back and thank this little baby for saving its life. Bye. A human puppy? New song. Oh. What? Oh. <laughs> Where have you been, Leo? I'll tell you all about it later. <gasps> oh, for goat's sake, a little kid. Did you hear that, Rufus? Hmm. I know it's a little child. Now, will you let me get some sleep? Go ahead and sleep then, you selfish little worm. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> hmm. uh, yes. <laughs> It's just going to uh, the well for some water. Yes, just a pail of water, noble Leo. Well, oh, golly gee whiz, there's a child inside. A lovely cherubic little child. <laughs> <laughs> At least the sun's come out. Go! Oh, shut up, you crazy goat! Oh, what do you want? Water? Oh, 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 oh. Where are your manners, Mama Dog? Mm. Mm. My God in heaven! A child! Brothers! Briar! Come quickly! Over here, at the well! <laughs> and that's how you came to the monastery, Marcelino. Rescued like a shipwrecked little sailor by Brother Andre, who you call Brother Pap. And you won all the hearts of the friars. Children always like to go where they're treated with love and care. That was Brother Lorenzo, who you call Brother Proverb, because he's always willing to give you advice. And there's Brother Bernardino, who you call Brother Bird because of his love for birds. And Brother Thomas, who you call Brother Ding Dong, because he's the one who rings the bells. And the Prior, who seems strict and dry, but who's really as soft as a ripe fruit, and who loves you very much. What's going on here, brothers? What's all this ruckus about? Look, Father, Brother Andre has found this child at the bottom of a well. Uh, not in the well, he was in the pail. In a pail inside the well. Calm down, brothers. Everyone calm down. Do we know if it's a boy or a girl? Oh, I, 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 because if it's a girl, it can't stay here in the monastery. It's against our rules. Oh, 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 oh. We'll have to find out whether he's a she or she's a he. It didn't take them long before they figured it out. 
He's got a wee wee. It's a boy. Watch your language, brothers. Oh, it's a boy, Reverend Father. Yes, I, I can see that. But we should still look for his mother or someone who can take care of him. This isn't the place for a baby. <laughs> I don't think he wants to leave. Give him a ladle of milk and take him into town. Oh, but oh, we have to... Uh, uh, silence! That was an order, brothers. Oh, a bit of milk. Uh, I think they're talking about you, Giselle. Naturally. What would they do in this monastery without me? There's the master. The Duke of Must. He's coming a bit quickly, don't you think? Don't worry. He'll break any minute. Now. Speed up, Clara. Don't back down. But, sir, we're going to run over the friars. Yeah, we've got enough around here as it is. I said to speed up. Whatever you say, sir. Brothers! He's fallen! Brothers! Come on! Pity on the innocent. No, 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 no. A bird is taking him away. An awful bird taking him away. May God have mercy on the boy. Oh, it's a bearded vulture, brothers. One of the most noble birds of the forest. Oh, you and your darn birds. That bird won't let any harm come to him. Believe me. I like it when you laugh. We vultures don't know how to laugh. <laughs> you saved my little baby's life. His name is Boney, like his father's. He'll be friends. So now we're even for the time being. Oh. 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 Thank you, great bearded vulture. And I'm going to write beautiful things about your life and customs. Brothers, no idolatry now. But thanks anyway, Brother Bird. So what do we do now? Go back to the monastery. No, we must keep looking for this little creature's mother. If you say so. We must obey the prior's orders. Hmm. I wouldn't mind having a whirl up there myself. <clears throat> Shall we admit the friar's boy into the town or village? All those in favor of this proposal, raise your hands up high. No. Uh... Oh, we have a majority. Well, there's just one problem. We haven't got an orphanage, Mr. Mayor. Yeah, that's right. We haven't got an orphanage, sir. What about that building on the right-hand side of the square? Uh, that's a food supply store, Mr. Mayor. As you've just heard, we do not have an orphanage. Thus, you must continue your search, sirs, uh, uh, friars. <laughs> Don't get discouraged, brothers. In the woods, there lives a couple. They are lumberjacks. They take in abandoned children or orphans. Go and see them. Just a moment. Huh? For your journey's expenses. Oh. Don't you think we should just go back to the monastery? No. We must keep looking. But where are we going to look? We'll go to the forest, to the lumberjack's cabin. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
surely they must love the children very much, but it looks like... Sometimes looks can deceive, brother. Good morning, sir. Give thanks, for the Lord is good. <clears throat> We've been told that you've taken abandoned children. That's right. Let's see it. Yeah, take him, but we don't know his name. Mm, no problem there. None of the kids got names here. We just give them numbers, so there aren't no mistakes. <laughs> he looks strong, but he's very small. You'll have to leave the goat with us, too. What? The goat? Of course. We'll have to give him some nourishment until he can work. First, we'll give him some milk, and then some roast. I'm doing you a favor. You needn't bother. We'll take care of the little boy. If you change your mind, you know where to find us. <laughs> so, what do we do now? Go back to the monastery. That's the most sensible thing I've heard all day. It looked like they wanted to bring you out and roast you dry. Yeah. We'll see who gets roasted. <laughs> well, you have done the right thing, brothers. Here we will provide him with all the food, shelter, and love that he needs. Until God offers another possibility, the boy will stay here at the monastery with us. <laughs> but we don't know his name. We could call him Moses for his love of water. Uh, Moses came in from the river, but this child came out of the well. He wasn't in the well, brother. He was in the pail and quite dry, I might add. <laughs> pail. Pail. Bucket. Oh, I can't think of anything. We could call him Francisco after the patron saint of our house. We already have a lot of Franciscos. Why don't we name him after today's saint? Pardon my ignorance, brothers, but who is today's saint? Um, 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 today's Saint Marcelino's day. Then we'll call him Marcelino. <laughs> Did you hear, boy? You're going to be called Marcelino. <laughs> Marcelino? <laughs> I think he likes it. Marcelino is a great name. Marcelino the boy will walk his path with joy. <laughs> So why can I talk to animals? Because you're kind, sensitive, and you love them. And because animals are kind too. Is the wild boar kind? Perhaps. Well, uh, I wouldn't go that far. But you could still be friends with him. I have to go now. Uh, don't leave me alone here. Tell me some more stories about me. Please, Candela. You'll hear them little by little. Well, why don't you leave something of yours here, and then you'll have an excuse to come back for it. I don't need to leave anything here, but when you need something, you'll have it. Hmm. My shadow will keep you warm when you are cold, and will protect you from the sun when you are hot. <laughs> Bye-bye, Marcelino. Bye. Oh. <laughs> you can't take your shadow off, no matter how strong a goldfinch you are.
the steps of a monastery out in the cold. His name is Marcelino Padivino. He's a moral Marcelino, full of magic, fun, and courage. He's a real hero. His name is Marcelino Padivino. Wise and brave is Marcelino. All the animals, birds, and people love him so. Blossoming out of the snow. 